Welcome. In this video, we're going to be using a standalone machine. We're going to be using standalone machine one. We're going to be setting up a child domain. So we have DC1, we have DC2, and both of them host our ace.local uh, domain. But what we want to do is we want to have a child domain that we can also have because we want to be able to organize this in such a way because ace may be a large multi-state corporation and we want a uh, child domain in like nevada for example and we want to control that network in nevada by just having its own child uh, network what i mean by that is all the objects in nevada we want controlled and managed by that child domain. We don't want a different child domain like New York, for example, being able to control assets or objects in Nevada. So we can have separate children domains for different spheres of control. All right, standalone uh, one is turned on and ready to go. So it's always really funny when you're watching some of these videos and people are giving you wrong information. So first of all, a lot of people say, well, you can't just add the role. You need to join the, that machine to the domain. Oh, no, no, you don't. One thing that you do need to do is you need to verify DNS settings. You have to make sure that your new standalone server at this moment has the appropriate DNS settings. Okay, so this is going to be domain controller one and domain controller two. We want to make sure that we can ping our domain, ping ace.local, and we can. So we're going to add a role. We're going to add, oh, forgot to click happy there, Active Directory Domain Services, and that's it. Takes about a minute to install, but the important thing here is I am not joining this PC to the domain first. You will see that it is a work group computer ip is set up and that's pretty much it well we turned off our ie enhanced security and that's really been it so the installation process is now done and i'm going to go right to promoting this server to a domain controller i want to add a new domain to an existing forest Domain type, a child domain, parent domain name, ace.local. Okay. I want to have the new domain nv.ace.local because we are starting a Nevada branch of ACE. Provide the credentials. This is going to be ACE slash an account with administrator access. Hit next. All right, so in 2012, you had to have the new domain name, the fully qualified domain name. In 2016, you don't. This will append the new domain name to the parent domain name. So instead of being NV dot local it'll be nv dot ace dot local uh, notice here dns delegation we're creating a subdomain 
So we're going to be using this account for the delegation creation. That's fine. We're going to check the NetBIOS name for our new NV domain. Takes a second, but it should verify. All right, there we go. It'll be the rest of the same process as installing a domain. We should get a cipher warning. We've been getting them every other video, so there we go. Everything else is showing good. We're going to click install. Takes a few minutes and it's going to auto restart, so I'm going to pause until it's finished. All right, it's restarted. I'm going to log in. You're going to notice that our domain is in V, not ace. All right, let's server manager load. nv.ace.local. This is a child domain. If you're looking at Active Directory users and computers, you're going to again notice ace.local is still the parent, but now we have nv.ace.local. You might be able to oh, change domain. Let's see if we can access ace.local which we can, because there is a two-way trust between the two. And the, the, there we go. Two separate domains, two separate spheres of control. Lastly, let's go ahead and let's look at sites and services. You'll notice that all of them are part of this default location. You can actually separate the sites out now, different internet uh, in inter-site transports. You can also have different subnets. That way you can actually have the standalone actually truly be, say we call it standalone one. This is actually the domain controller for NV, which is our child domain. You can actually set this as a separate subnet so that when people go to authenticate in NV, they'll just be hitting this guy. We're going to be doing those types of videos when we do the official Microsoft uh, course curriculum videos. But for now, that's just a quick, uh, quick simple overview. Uh, one last thing, let's check DNS. You're going to notice that we have a forward lookup zone for in v.ace.local, not for ace.local, and we do not have a reverse zone. So let's go ahead and make a reverse zone. Mm. Notice here, for this forest or in this domain, in this example, we're going to be doing the in v.ace.local. Uh, see, you're going to see that we can't do that because our reverse lookup zone cannot use that network ID because that's already a reverse lookup zone for the forest. All right, that was actually the end of this part of the video. Uh, our next video, we're going to be setting up key uh, roles and services, DNS and DHCP. Uh, I'll see you then.